Hey guys, Jeremy here with TacFix. So I've been replacing a lot of rear sights lately, and if you guys have done that as well, you've probably come across this tool on either Midway or Brownells or a host of other sites. This is the NC Star Universal Rear Sight Pusher. One of the great things about this tool is if your pistol uses a rear dovetail, this will probably replace the sight for it. Now if you guys have ever looked for a tool like that before, you've probably noticed that most of the offerings out on the market range anywhere from $150 to $250. So since this tool has a price tag of just $40 to $50 depending on where you get it from, my first thought was to definitely be skeptical. After all, if this tool costs a third of what most of the other common tools cost, it's got to be crap, right? Well actually my experience has been anything but. Now some of the great things about this are that it's built very sturdy. It's got a solid aluminum frame and steel screws. It's also very easy to install your slide in here. All you have to do is adjust the base to get the height right and then bring the sides in to clamp your slide into place. Then you simply rotate this handle to move your sight pusher left to right to remove your rear sight. It's also got directions on the top to help you know how to orient everything. And it's got holes in the base here so you can screw this down to a solid work surface. And the operation on this really is quite simple. I'm going to go ahead and set this up and show you how it's done. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead and install our slide. And you'll notice there's an arrow up here on the top that tells you to orient it muzzle facing out. And then we'll go ahead and adjust this base here until we get it to the desired height. And then we'll clamp down both sides to make sure this is firmly in place. And basically the height that you want this at is just high enough so that you've got a good purchase on your sight with these two little arms here, but you don't want it so low that it would make contact with the top of your slide. Once you've got everything in place, you'll go ahead and just rotate the handle here in order to get your sight out of position. Now on these polymer Glock sights here, these are pretty easy to move. Steel or aluminum sights can be a little bit harder to adjust, but you just want to go slow and take your time with it and just work this right out of your dovetail. Now I'm not going to completely remove this sight because I'm going to go ahead and leave these in for the time being, but once you've got your new sight into position, you'll go ahead and just get it started and then just work it back the other way. Now, you'll want to work this until it's roughly centered here. And one thing I do like about this is because of how compact this is, you can take this right to the range with you to test everything out. I've taken this with every pistol that I've installed, and I'll go ahead and shoot a few groups, check my sight alignment, and if things are drifting to one side or another, I'll go ahead and just pop this up onto the bench at the range, and then do a little micro adjustment. All right, guys, so that is the NC Star Universal Rear Sight Pusher. I think this is a great option. You know, for $40 or $50, this is far less expensive than most other rear sight tools out on the market. One downside to this is that it is made in China, so it's not a US made product. A lot of your rear sight pushers are gonna be made in the US, and that is a big selling point for a lot of people. I myself, I prefer all things equal. I prefer to buy a US made product too. But when you're talking about spending a third on something for the same quality product, I just can't justify that myself. I know a lot of people are going to have a problem with that. Some people will, some people won't, but it's to each their own. If you prefer to always buy a U.S. made product, go ahead and spend more on one of the other products. I'm sure they're great as well. But at a $40 to $50 price tag, when you're talking about spending that much to have a gunsmith install one set of sights, you've now purchased this and you can do as many as you need to. So this is definitely going to be a great cost effective option if you're on a budget. Now there is also a great how-to video from NC Star that shows it in a little bit more depth how to use this product. I'll go ahead and put a link to that up in the top corner here. Another good thing about this is how widely available it is. You can get this from retailers like Optics Planet and Amazon. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description over to my website where you can find links on where to buy this. If you guys do want to pick up something like this and you consider using the links on my website, I'd greatly appreciate it. That does help support the channel by giving us a little bit of commission on that sale and at no extra cost to you. So I just wanted to bring a real quick video today, let you guys know how happy I've been with this product over the years. And if you're at all on the fence about buying this particular one, 
definitely go ahead and invest. I think you're going to be very pleasantly surprised by how good a quality it is at such a small price tag. If you guys have any other questions I can answer about this, definitely hit me up down in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. You can also check me out on my website, techfix.com. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video, and hit subscribe and that little bell icon so you can get notified every time I put out a video. And as always, have a good night, guys.